Hi, my beautiful, wonderful, awesome, talented, important, special Cancer. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. You are important. You are necessary. You are needed. You are valued. You are loved. You are important. Okay? You are beautiful. You are handsome. Cancer, this is going to be your January 2022 monthly reading. Okay? This is general. So, Whatever part of your life comes out, comes out, okay? It is what it is. Whatever spirit wants you to know. Remember, not every message is for you. Not every card will be for you. Not every storyline will be for you. What is for you is for you. So only take what is, all right? If there's something I say or um, a card that comes out that's not for you, don't take it, baby. Only take what is for you, okay? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, Spirit Guides. Protect me as I go within the town. Keep me safe. Keep my viewers and subscribers safe. Keep the messages safe. Return to sender any and all negativity. No weapon that's formed against me shall prosper. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Holy Spirit, orchestrate this reading and give me a message for cancer, please. Cancer, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and north node in the month of January 2022. Okay. I'm going to pull from the tarot, get a general energy, get some general messages. Go in with the romance angels and then close the reading, okay? For Cancer. Oh my gosh, the Nine of Pentacles, the first card coming out. You could be dealing with a Virgo or any earth sign, but you're very stable, very solid. So I feel I feel like you did this for your stability. You did it for yourself. The Two of Wands is a decision, a new journey, a new direction. So you took the direction of stability self-reliance self-sufficiency anything else for cancer some people may not like that people think that people always tell you oh you think you're better than us no you don't think that cancer at least you don't say it out loud <laughs> but that's not even the energy you're in they don't know what it took for you to get here it's none of their business either but you know what? Sometimes a trial and a test is a testimony for them motherfuckers who think that they know you. Y'all don't know what I had to do to get here. This shit was not easy. Wow, two of cups. Love, a connection, a union. Page of Pentacles. I hear first comes love, then comes marriage, then comes a baby and a baby carriage with the Page of Pentacles. Look at this, all this passion communication travel creativity with the ace of wands you could be dealing with a virgo with the hermit at the bottom of the deck queen of swords a gemini libra aquarius you like the way this person speaks they're smart as hell and that's what attracted you to them in the first place okay but this is a general general reading so this is how people view you then People view you as the Nine of Pentacles, beautiful, handsome, smart. You look good. You smell good. I, I bet people are wondering if you taste good too, Cancer. Wink, wink. Okay. <laughs> but you have people literally drooling for you. People think, if I could be with someone like Cancer, Two of Cups, if I could be with someone like Cancer, I know I'd be happy. Cancer is solid. Cancer is stable. Cancer is loving. Cancer is nurturing. Cancer has all of their shit together. You definitely do. Clarify the page of pentacles. I want to make I want to see if you do or if this is just what's going on on the outside. I feel like you don't think you're as big as what people are making you seem with the page of pentacles. You don't feel like you're as big or as noble or as strong or as stable as everyone else thinks you are. Tying back to what I said, people say that you think you're better than them. And you're like that's not true. Clarify the page of pentacles for Cancer, please. Page of Wands, yeah, pages, pages. You see yourself as a page. We got the strength at the bottom of the deck. Could be a Leo. So you're fighting within yourself on the inside. There's some inner conflict. And you're scared that if people get too close to you, they're going to find out that about some inferiority that you have. I don't think that it's really there. I think you're, I think, <sighs> Seven of Cups. It's an, it's an illusion. This is an insecurity that you have within yourself. 
But even if you are insecure, the Page of Pentacles can grow and become so much bigger. The Page of Wands can grow and become so much bigger. So you still have, you have potential. Why are you selling yourself short? You still have the capability you're so capable of. Maybe you've been compared to so many people or you were compared to your sister or you're compared to your mom or dad or you're being compared to your colleagues or coworkers and things like that. Fuck them. You're not like that person or you're not like them. You're not like her. You're not like him. You're you. Can't nobody be you and you can't be anybody else. Be happy with you. I see that you are growing into self-love. I see it. Nine of Pentacles. You are growing into self-love. Two of Cups. You love yourself. You're accepting yourself. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles for Cancer. There's someone who's been watching you this whole time. They're in love with you. They're in love with who they know you can be. They know, they know you can be a king. They know you can be a queen. Just because you may not feel like you're there yet, that doesn't mean that they don't love you. They always have. Whether it's your spirit guides or your family or your lover, whoever it is. Yeah, three of pentacles. They've never turned their back on you. Whoever this is, they've been with you this whole time. This Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Or someone does want to work with you. They're saying, Cancer, I don't care um, if you don't think you're good enough. I want to work with you. So I see somebody is picking you out the bunch. Your boss or uh, this person you think is too good to be true. They see the light within you. I, this could be your angel's ancestors. I'm getting a very spiritual message with the sun at the bottom of the deck. See, you could be dealing with the Leo in your life. Why would you choose me? Why would you pick me? Because I know you're you. I because you are you. No one else can be you, Cancer. They want you specifically. Clarify the Two of Cups. Clarify the Two of Cups. So I see you could be getting a big responsibility for a source. You're wondering, contemplating, um, rethinking some things. This is a this is a big step. Are you ready for it? Look, the lover is a big decision. You're thinking about it, thinking, thinking. I get pending, pending with the Four of Swords. Pending, pending glow up. Glow up, the glow up is pending. The relationship is pending. Ace of Cups, it's pending. It's all coming. It is, look, the emperor at the bottom of the deck too. Look at all of this. Page of Cups. So why are you selling yourself short? Why are you wishing that you were ahead right now? Why are you always comparing yourself? Stop doing that. You may be a late bloomer. That's fine. You may still be in the cocoon and everybody else is a butterfly. That's fine because there's someone here who is specifically wanting you, waiting on you, wanting to pick you out of anybody else. Or this is what you're doing for your cross watcher or person of interest. We got three pages, page of pentacles, page of wands, page of cups. Is this how you feel about yourself or is this how people try to make you feel about yourself? People try to make you feel like you are a page and you're really an emperor. You could be dealing with an Aries, Virgo, Gemini, Leo. Hmm. Don't sell yourself short, Cancer. You have the you have the potential for greatness. You have the potential for greatness. Ace of Cups, Two of Cups, and the Lover. What is there to think about? Are you letting your fear get it, get in the way? Be strong. Have strength. All right, let's get another message for you. Anything else for Cancer, please, Holy Spirit? Big change. Look, the Tower card came out. And the Nine of Wands. Are you resistant to change? Are you trying to stop this change? Anything else for Cancer for January 2022? Cancer, January 2022. 
Cancer 2022. Queen of Cups. There you go. That's you right here. Cancer. Right here. Beautiful. Abundant. Loving. Nurturing. All these gifts. You're surrounded. You're in, immersed in water. Your gifts are as deep as the ocean. Eight of Wands. Travel. Communication. People love when you speak. It's like you speak life. So start speaking life over yourself. Five of Wands. Are you still going to continue to battle with your gift? Or are you going to let it are you going to let it, um, just let it happen? You're scared that you're going to drown? Look at all this water. You see all this water? Is go it's coming all the way up, almost to her chest. You think the water is going to come up and drown you? How? How is your own gift going to drown you? Five of Wands. These are some things you got to figure out within yourself. Okay, the magician, Gemini. You can be dealing with the Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or North. Or North. <laughs> oh, north Node. What is your North Node since I was about to say it? Seven of Wands. Be at peace. Be tranquil. What are you fighting for or fighting against? This Seven of Wands, she's balanced. All these Wands coming up coming up against her or him. And, and they're still meditating. They're at peace. Their eyes are closed. They're not even looking in that direction. They're not feeding into this negative energy. So where are you putting your energy with the Magician card? Look at the Eight of Wands, this travel and communication, and then this Ace of Pentacles, this new beginning, this money, stability, this offer, this raise or promotion or whatever it is that you want it to be. It can all be yours. It can all be yours. All right, what's going on in Cancer's love life for January 2022? Holy Spirit. For Cancer. At the bottom, it says, getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So take it slow. Get to know each other. Okay? You're scared that getting to know this person and being vulnerable, they're going to see your insecurities. Stop doing that to yourself. All right? Get to know each other. Maybe get to know your damn self. Cancer, who are you? Do you know who you are? Unrequited love. Do you not love yourself? Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. This, these are things you've experienced. And it's caused you to not even love yourself. And caused you to be codependent. Why are you doing this to yourself? What's going on for cancer in their love life? Retreat. You got to heal and take some time out. It's time to disconnect from the world. Heal. See the bigger picture. There was somebody who lowered your self-esteem, chipped away at your self-esteem because they didn't reciprocate your feelings. And now it got you looking at yourself like, what's wrong with me? Am I not good enough? Now, ain't no way you should be letting somebody make you feel like that. There's nothing wrong with you. Yes, it does hurt. I've been through the same thing. Motherfuckers, and then motherfuckers who pretend to care about you the same way you care about them as well. So it's up to you to protect yourself, love yourself, let your intuition and your discernment discern those type of people in that type of energy. That way you can protect yourself from them and know that you are good enough. Start loving yourself and start the healing process. Go ahead and retreat and start this healing process. Because you got, you got somebody who is wanting you, waiting on you, wanting to love you. What's the current energy like for cancer in January? What's the energy like for cancer in 2022? January 2022. What's the energy like for cancer in January 2022? Thank you. You and your loved ones are safe. It's safe for you to love. Love yourself. This is your energy. No moon in cancer you the energy is all about you it's all about you in january 2022 
I love you guys. Y'all be safe. Until I see you guys again, check out your water signs reading. It is time stamped. And check out the little mini shorts that I uploaded for you guys. You can follow me on all my social media. Book a personal reading with me. Donate to the channel. Um, check out the description box because there's so many things in there. So you guys can keep up with me and I can keep up with you. I'll see you guys next time. Y'all be safe. I love you. Bye-bye.